Hey y'all, welcome back. It's your boy Joby Styles. You already know. And if you don't know, when I am now. <laughs> we are back today to do a nice little video with some Anastasia products that I'm kind of feeling. I mean, look at this face. Ah, Norvina came out with this purple palette. She has a few others as well, but I had to get my hands on this. Y'all know how much I love purples. So I figured why not do one of my favorite type of looks with this palette for like an old faithful. But then I'm gonna get into some crazy looks with this as well. But if you wanna see how I created this look, please go ahead and subscribe. <laughs> like uh -huh. or you can even hit that notification bell as well so you know when the next time I pop up I'll pop on here alright we're gonna go ahead and prep our skin with some hydro grip I'm gonna use one two pumps just gonna blend that out of my fingers yeah blend it out all right so now that that bad boy is dry we're gonna go ahead and use our Tatcha silk canvas I'm not gonna use a ton of this. I kinda just like to scrape off a little bit and use a small amount, nothing too crazy. And we're gonna blend that over my T-zones and areas where I get a little bit of texture going on. So mainly in this area where I highlight, bring it through there. You want to use this primer sparingly. You don't need a lot of it. All right, so before I get into foundation, I want to go ahead and do my brows, my brizzles. So to do that today, we're going to be using the Anastasia Dip Brow. And I am using the color Dark Brown. I love that color, especially because I also am going to be using a little bit of the Dip Brow Gel to finish it off. And this is a medium brown. So I want to give that dark, but then finish it off with a little bit of something light. So I'm not going to go crazy with the Dip Brow since I am using the Dip Brow Gel as well. <laughs> All right. To be doing that, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Brush, and this is the number 12. So I'm just going to take a little tiny bit of that dip brow and I'm going to actually wipe off any excess onto the cap because I don't want to use too much product at once. So once I do have a good amount on there and it's not like overly done, we're going to go ahead and fill in the brows to the shape that is desired. Cool, so that's pretty much what I am going for. Nothing too intense. And plus we're gonna trace it with concealer so you don't have to go crazy with it. I feel like I went crazy with it over here though. Okay, <laughs> go ahead and do your other brow and I'll meet you for the concealer. All right, so to conceal around my brows and give it a little bit of a cleaner look, I'm going to be using the Makeup Forever Full Cover Concealer in the shade number 14. I'm gonna go ahead and do that off camera because this will just take forever. <laughs> so foundation, what I wanna do is their new Anastasia Illuminating Foundation. I went ahead and got a sample because I wasn't sure on the colors. So I got a sample of, I was stuck between, I believe 380C and 370C. I'm not sure, I think I went with 380C though. I'm gonna pop some of that bad boy out. And it might be 480C. But I think it's 380C. I don't remember. I should have wrote it down. I'm sorry, y'all. I didn't. But before I do that, I do want to use, because oh, I really want this to be a nice glowy look. I want to take it back to the Anastasia. This is their liquid glow in the color peach. So I am going to take a little bit of that on the back of my hand. And I'm going to put that on my highlight areas real quick. And I'm just going to put it on my fingers. We're going to go ahead and put on the cheekbones. I don't know if I'm using too much. I haven't done this in a while. I feel like it'll be good. Cheekbones, the nose, a little bit in the center of the forehead, and the chin as well. We're gonna go ahead and just blend that out with our fingers. So we're doing this before we put the foundation on. Just to give an immaculate glow. The foundation's already a luminous foundation, but I want to beam 
And this is one of the best ways to make sure you get a really, really good glow with your foundation. Put on a liquid highlighter before you apply your foundation. Bomb. All right. So now we're gonna go ahead and get into the foundation. I'm gonna pour a little bit on the back of my hand. Ooh, she thickened up, okay. And I'm going to be using the Milk Foundation Brush, the Milk X of Four Collection. Oh, it's such a beautiful foundation brush. So I got a lot on my hand. I'm not gonna use a ton though. I'm gonna kinda dabble in it just a little bit. And I wanna build it up because I know this foundation, I've played with it before. And I haven't put it on myself yet, but I've put it on someone else and it's more of a buildable rather than just automatic full coverage or anything like that. Nor am I trying to get full coverage or anything like that. It's more of a medium. So let's go for see what we know, okay? Hopefully putting this much on, it doesn't look too light because when I tried it in the store and color matched myself, it I used it with the sponge for one. But two, I feel like it sheared it out a little bit. So now that I'm doing it to like maximum coverage, I want to make sure this is the right color. I feel like it's looking pretty good. This is actually really, really pretty. All right, I'm gonna finish this up. I'll be right back. Okay, so we're gonna move on. I'm actually gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my face since the rest of my products I use aren't gonna be Anastasia. So I wanna speed this up a little bit and get this to the, to the nook and crannies, the juicy, the uh-uh, the Norvina. All right, so finish up the rest of my face. I'll be right back. All right, so I just about finished my complexion. I am gonna throw in a little bit of bronzer. I'm gonna be using the Anastasia Bronzing Powder or Powder Bronzer in the color Mahogany. Oh, oh yeah. Mahogany is a beautiful bronzer. Yeah, that looks good. All right. Let's get to the eyes. All right, so before we get into throwing these shadows on, I went ahead and put a little bit of setting powder under my eyes just to protect from any fallout that may happen because it is a pigment palette. And we're gonna prime our eyes with a little bit of the Anastasia Eyeshadow Primer. I am going to mix it in with a little bit of my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer only to give it a little bit of tone since it is like stark white. We are going to start off with E2. E2 is gonna be that coral orangey shade we're gonna choose that to be our mm, kind of like our background shade honestly if you want if you want to do more you can start with the yellow and then go into this I kind of just want to start off with this guy see what she's giving oh oh she's there she's there let me tap some of that off Let's focus that right in the crease Just blend it. All right, so next I kind of want to blend in B1 because it's a really pretty, like, violet, red, red violetish tone. I'm going to use a smaller brush for that. It's a Morphe brush that the name rubbed off. So we're going to hit that B1. And we're going to focus this for our outer corner, kind of like the outer V going inwards a little bit. I probably will go all the way over, but we'll see. Mm-hmm. Focus that on the outer V, going into the inner crease. I'm gonna blend that out in a minute, but I want a little bit more pigment in that. All right, so I'm gonna take the same crease brush from before and go ahead and blend that out a little. I'm loving this so far. I'm gonna add a little bit more of that B1. I 
That's looking pretty tight. <laughs> Alright, same thing to the other side. Okay, so I'm ready to leave it like this. She is everything. But I want to go ahead and move on. We're going to dig into that before. Before I let go. Alright, so I'm going to use like a little brush, a really skinny brush, a little thin brush. This is a Mikasa brush, that name rubbed off. But I want to put this purple exactly where I want it. And I'm kind of thinking, I want to do almost like a halo eye. So we're going to focus that on the outer corner. Oh, she's deep. And the inner corner. I'm feeling that. Same thing to the other side. All right, so now that I have that before I let go, before the before on, I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of B5 and blend that through. So I want to use that with a smaller brush that isn't as dense as the last brush that I used. That way it has a little bit more blending ability to it, but you can still put it in a strategic spot. So we're going to use that B5 because it still has that cooler purple tone to it which I feel like really works well with this look. And we're gonna blend that purple into that pink. And over. You see that? Boom, it just brought it together, right? Yeah, no. Yeah, no. Calm down. All right, so next I wanna go ahead and get a small brush, spray it with a little bit of my Morphe setting spray, only because I wanna get a good amount on there and not all over everything else, goodness gracious. And we're gonna take a little bit of that D2, and I'm gonna get a good amount of that on there, actually. I said a little bit, nah, I want a lot of it. We're gonna get that on there. And we're gonna tap that into the center of the lid. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That color literally transforms as you apply it. Beautiful. So then go ahead and take that brush you applied the purple with and blend it out on the sides of it. Oh, that's stunning. That is stunning. All right, so once that's on there, and that's looking bad, hey, that looks really, really good. Now I wanna take an even smaller brush, even more little precise brush, and I'm gonna take A1, this very, very pale color here. It's like a lavender almost. I'm gonna take a little tiny bit of that on the tip of the brush, and we're gonna put it on the center center. Yeah, work. All right, so once that's done, we're gonna go ahead and work on the bottom of the eye or whatever. So I'm thinking I kind of want to give pinky purple. So we're gonna go ahead and use B1 with that same tiny brush we just applied that light color with, but take that light color off first. Hit it up with that B1. all the way to about the center of the eye. Now we're gonna go ahead and take some of that BFO. Working it in in the middle for the most part with the before. It's not how I usually do it. I usually go from dark to light, but I wanted to switch it up a little bit. Give a little bit something different. So now that that before is on there, I'm going to go ahead and go back into the D2, and we're going to use that for the inner corner. All right, so taking that same brush, I'm going to go back into that super duper light color and use that for my inner, inner corner, that little boom, just to give a little pop of light. Put that into the inner center. Get a whole galaxy going up in there. You feel me? 
Yes, I know you do. All right. I'm gonna do the inner part of my eye. I'm actually gonna brighten it up. I'm gonna use the Milk Makeup Eyeliner in the color PTL. All right, so now that we're done with the shadows and everything, I'm gonna go ahead and swipe that off. Beautiful. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of liquid liner. We're gonna use the Anastasia Black Liquid Liner with the purple packaging, which is so re relevant for this look. I'm gonna wipe off any excess and go for a badass wing liner. All right, so now I really want a color for like my brow bone, but they're not really giving me many options in this palette, I'm gonna be honest. So what I will do is I will take E1. I'm gonna go crazy with it. Yeah, that's pretty. But I felt like we needed something else to go with it. All right, before I forget, let's go ahead and set the brows with a little bit of the dip brow. We're gonna use the dip brow gel in the medium brown. Um, just because I've never used this before and I wanted to see what it's like. This is gonna go on top of the dark brown regular dip brow oh yeah it honestly blends right in yeah that works that works i like it that brow looks a lot fuller now for the lips, I'm trying a brand new lip product. We're trying the KKW Lip Liner and Lipstick. Um, she is now available on Ulta, which is cute. I always like Kim Kardashian. People love, hate her. I freaking love her, so whatever. I don't really care. So I got the lip liner in Nude 2. Yeah, Nude 2. I think this is the color that I wanted, so let's see. Yep, it is. It's a nice brown. Her lipsticks, I mean, her lipstick was $18 and the lip liner, which is cute. It's a little nude lip liner. It's 12 bucks. So her lip, her products aren't that expensive. A beautiful color, glided on and it didn't use a lot of product at all when I did it. So that's pretty awesome. Now we're gonna go ahead and put the lipstick on. I got Nude 7 for the lipstick. I think there was about eight or nine shades. I think there was about nine or 10 shades actually. Look at this packaging though. Like this is why I wanted it, literally for the packaging. So we're gonna go ahead and put that on. Mmm, that feels nice. All right, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you really, really enjoyed this video. Uh, I really enjoyed doing it, honestly. And if you want to see more videos with this Norvina palette, please let me know. I will be doing more videos with it because all the shadows that are in it, like, come on. We're not going to just have this sitting here, honey. Like, you know it. Um, but <laughs> if you see certain colors in the palette that you wanted me to use, let me know. Comment below. Let me know your thoughts. But... You know, in the meantime, just go ahead and tell your sister, your cousin, your auntie, your uncle, your niece, your nephew, your mama, your daddy, whoever. Joby Styles is where it's at. And if you don't know, now you know. Until next time.